In this video, I'm going to install a product called Screenshot made by Lippert. It's an automatic door closer, but unfortunately it only works on Lippert screen doors. The instructions also state that it'll only work on right hand doors. But can't you just flip the thing around? And there are actually five different sizes available. And it's designed to work with a 22 inch, 24 inch, 26 inch, 28 inch, or 30 inch door. And to obtain the correct size, you have to measure the door frame from the inside to the inside. And I'm looking at about 29 and a half inches. So after rounding my measurement up, I found that I needed a 30 inch, and that's the one I've ordered. And these are around $20 or so, so they're not very expensive. And there's really not a whole lot to it. But the basic screen door closing mechanism, which is just a plastic tube with the spring inside of it and attached to the other end of the spring is just a little piece of webbing which is basically attached to the door frame and then as the door opens it pulls out on the webbing and then of course the spring will cause it to close. Now they say only for Lippert doors and the reason for that as I show you the close up here this uh, end goes into the door frame and it matches the extrusion of the door frame. So if you have another brand door, you probably could, you know, take a tab out or whatever you had to do and make it fit. And they recommend placing the opener right below this bar here. And the way that you do that, and remember the ends will match the extrusion in the door. So you simply wedge it in here and raise it all the way to the top. Well, one thing you should do, because it's almost impossible if you don't, is to put a little tape on here to hold this up until you get the screws in. And then you're going to have to drill holes for the screws. So I just uh, drilled a hole at an angle like that. And then you'll need a Robinson number two, because these are the typical RV style screws. And then you just screw them in. So now that we have this secured, we can take the tape off. And the next step is to secure the strap. Now I would have figured they would want you to secure the strap here like this, but they don't. They want you to secure the strap in here, but there's not enough room to drill through the end, otherwise it would interfere with the door closing. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the channel like they recommend. And we've attached the strap within one half inch of the door jam as they recommend, and this is what it looks like. And when the screen door is attached to the outside door, it's not spring-loaded enough to close it, which allows you to keep the screen door open if you have to, if you're bringing groceries in or something. But as soon as it's only about halfway, then it closes on its own. And if we peek it here, we can see that the screw does not prevent the screen door from closing either, so there's enough gap to compensate for the screw head. Well, it works well enough. However, the one improvement I'd like to see would be some kind of a tension adjuster. Uh, otherwise, it seems to work pretty good. 